idea was to share best practices and the lessons that we have with one another. But mostly our focus has been on what does it take to make San Diego a cyber secure city? And um, that was the question that we set out to, to answer for ourselves. Uh, these are some of the things that are really coming down the pike in terms of that community really coming together. Uh, the, the work that Michael's been doing and, and others, the uh, on, on guard online group are now joining in and they're doing some, some joint uh, branding. So really encouraging uh, activities happening in that space. I think there's a good opportunity to do something impacting here. So one thing leads to another, but what I'll say is, you know, the kinds of things we're going to talk about today, why I think this is important is traditionally when we've looked at cybersecurity, it's been very top down, right? It's, you know, protect the big network here, protect the big network there, you know, the, the federal government, you know, the infrastructure, all really, really critical. But, you know, really cyber lives in everybody's homes, right? I mean, cyber starts in people's living rooms and we have to start protecting from the bottom up and communities are the places about 250 stakeholders that are actively involved. And what we did when we brought everyone together, at our first meeting we had about 136 people there. And we said, what areas do we need to look at? And so we had people that were interested in helping foster the, the public-private partnerships. Others that were focused on policy, whether it's the um, local policy for the government, state policy, federal policy. And you also look at the small and medium business, which is the dominant um, business model in San Diego, and do they have cybersecurity policies for the organization? And those are some of the questions that we asked.